Hi there. My name is Niu Han Dai. I'm a third year PhD student in the Department of Chemistry. And I am a participant in the Relish Workshop in, 20, in the summer of 2020. Today I'm going to talk about the story of how I design and construct a molecular device which can tell the fortune of cancer. Cancer is a scary disease, as all we know. In so globally speaking, one in six death is due to cancer, which is why cancer is defined as the second leading cause of human deaths by WHO. But the good news is we can save many lives by just early detection of cancer. Let's say there are six persons in your neighborhood that are potential cancer patients. If they undergo screening for cancer, the chance is that only one of them will eventually die due to cancer. If they don't do that, most of them will eventually die. This shows the important role of early detection in the disease of cancer. Then the question becomes, how to detect a cancer at an early stage? The current most common method is called qPCR, quantitative polymerase based chain reaction. Its full name sounds complicated, but I will explain that in a, diff in a different, easy way. Let's say there is a potential cancer patient, and we take one droplet of his blood, put that into a test tube, and extract DNA from that small droplet. But what is DNA? Imagine there is a magic book which contains all the information of your body, as well as part of, which, part of the information about your personality. And such a, such a corresponding chemical identity is called DNA. If you look at that under a microscope, it looks like a duplex, and it consists of two strands shown by the black guy on the left and the, the red guy on the right. And the information carried by strands of DNA is often related to diseases, in our case, cancers. So what qPCR does is to amplify the amount of DNA. In other words, the amount of information carried by DNA strands. However, during this amplification process, many errors are introduced, which leads to misinterpretation as well as wrong as well as wrong conclusion about the status of the patient. So, how to avoid that problem? My project is to overcome that problem by using a different method, so-called molecular fortune teller of cancer, without any amplification process. The early steps are kind of similar to that of PCR approach. So let's say there is a patient, a potential cancer patient, will take that small droplet. And if you look at that, it is like a huge ocean full of different components, including nutrition, such as proteins, sugars, and fatty acids, as well as, well as important components for human bodies like um, antibodies, blood cells. But the most interesting thing to us is stretches of DNA strands shown by the red guy inside that blood. So we put that droplet onto a surface containing a layer of black guy, which is the other strand of DNA duplex. And, and there will be some interesting interaction happening, which is our first step, the reunion of brothers. So Mr. Black is sitting on the surface and waiting for Mr. Red. Is because they are twin brothers, 
the interaction is unique, and only Mr. Red will be captured by Mr. Black on the surface. And all the other components inside that blood will just be ignored and washed away. Once they meet together, there is some interesting conversation going on between these two brothers, which is our second step, Twitter or Trit. Mr. Black is expecting something from Mr. Red. He says, Huh, hey bro, do you have that thing? Mr. Red feels confusing. Have a watch. And Mr. Black feels unhappy and says, just get out of my way. But in another situation where Mr. Red have that item, Mr. Black says, holy crap, that's legendary and marker. Well, legendary and marker is a special chemical modification, so-called methylation, on one of the strands of DNA. You can think about that as a special item which carries extra information. And that extra information is related to cancer. The reason about that will be explained later. But anyway, Mr. Black feels happy and Mr. Red is also happy. He says, and we can summon hero Mr. Protein. That is our third step, summoning of Mr. Protein. So we wish away the other components inside the blood and we add a Mr. Protein, a solution containing Mr. Protein. Once the twin brother meets together and Mr. Rand also carries the special item and marker, the special item and marker can recruit Mr. Protein and also activate, activate it. The activation has some special effects, which is our first step to tell the fortune of a patient by that special effect. Once it's activation, Mr. Protein can emit a special light. That light has a particular pattern. The signal will be collected by a high sensitive camera and be monitored on a computer. The pattern of that signal indicates two important information. First, whether or not uh, Mr. Rand with M marker exists inside that blood, and also the level of Mr. Rand in the ocean of blood. The information altogether can help us determine whether or not this patient has cancer or the development process of cancer. So, so far, I talk about my design of that molecular de device, which can tell the fortune of the patient. In future, there might be even a portable one, which only requires a small drop of blood. And hopefully we can use, the, use, use this technique and apply that to the current hospital. Thank you for watching me. And have a good day.